You never know who's going to be right or wrong in an argument. Usually it's the guy, but you never know, right? Never. Right, never That's, know. The, That's right. Uh, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. All right, Deborah McLeod joins us right now. Viewer email is about who's right, who's wrong. It goes as follows. It is impossible to have a fair argument with my husband. He always has to be right. Even if I can prove he's wrong, he finds a way to blame it on me. He will say, I'm sorry, I didn't call, but I knew you'd just tear into me. Doesn't yeah. that sound kind of familiar? That sounds like I would not want to live in that house. I mean, we're talking about a know-it-all personality here, right? Yeah, that is one of the most difficult personalities to deal with. And, and we she all know doesn't know it like all, that. right? Well, I think he's the know-it-all. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, funny well, how we she, saw that differently, Yeah, well, I thought she, was, she knows yeah, it because no. he's going to well, tear into him, right? Well, it sounds like there's a bit of both of it going on, right? But when you're with somebody like that, out of frustration, you start to do that, right? It just becomes a competition and a big scorekeeping thing. So how do you, but, how do you win this situation? You know, it's really trial and error for this kind of personality type. Sometimes it depends. I mean, if, if he says, yeah, I, I paid the bill, you know, I paid that water bill on the 30th, sometimes it is a matter of saying, look, you know, I can't even get you to listen to me until I show you, here's the water bill, here's the 30th, you didn't pay it. And sometimes you need to do that. And, and that's how you need to appeal to the person. Other times that has the opposite effect. So you have to go in and disarm them a little bit and say, you know what, I totally respect your opinion, I understand where you're coming from, I value what you have to say, but I don't want to talk about the facts, I just want to talk about how I felt when this happened. And try to get away from the facts, which is what they're so focused on. But that's how you win an argument. But you have with to talk facts. about not winning, right? Lawyers we want win, to win with facts, not feelings. But it is in the courtroom. It's your family. It's your home. It's your with marriage, the, right? The, well, with the kids, okay, I guess she's, yeah. she has a point there. When it comes to kids, you're telling the kids, you, there's no logic involved. It's because I said so. You know, there's, right? there was this old king. His name was King Pyrrhus. And he, run, he won a big battle against the Romans. And he very famously said, if I win another battle against the Romans, that's it. I'll be ruined. Meaning, I gave everything in me to win this fight. Everything, all my resources, all my energy, everything. And it's all gone. I won the battle, but I cannot withstand another attack. And when you are so competitive in your marriage that you're just, I'm going to win this, I'm going to prove myself right no matter what, you're sabotaging your whole marriage. I mean, that's what suffers. It doesn't matter if this happened in 2008 or 2009 or on Wednesday or on Tuesday or who said what. It doesn't matter. You have to get beyond that and say, I don't want to fight about the facts. It doesn't matter. Fine, you're right then. But let's talk about what happened, the fallout, how that affected our relationship. There you have it. When it comes to relationships and arguments, the facts aren't important. It's all about the feelings, which means basically when she says, where were you on this night doing that? How did you feel on that night, honey? <laughs> that would be... Interesting spin, but... <laughs> I was just thinking I'd take your yeah. words and use them That's for... That's great. All right. We'll see you next time on Relationship SOS.